Hi, my name's Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator with the National Portrait Gallery and a full-time artist with JJ Galloway Studio. Now, in today's Drawn to Figures lesson, we're talking about proportions of the head and face. This is a really important lesson because if you don't have the general proportions right from the beginning, you are forever fixing or trying to repair your drawing through the entire work. And that's not where your mind should be. Your mind should be developing the art, not fixing the art. So it's critical you spend as much time as you need in this phase in getting the gesture right. Now remember, the gesture is a quick drawing where we capture the attitude or the mood of the portrait or the figure. So we spend a lot of time in the gesture phase getting proportions right so we can then go on and add features. The supplies you'll need for today's lesson are just a pencil, paper, and an eraser. Drawing pencils are typically labeled H or B. H stands for hardness, B stands for blackness. The pencils are typically filled with graphite despite being called lead pencils and they range in grades of darkness. So an 8B is the darkest. The middle is an HB, which is the same as your yellowed standard number two school pencil. And then there's an 8H, which is the lightest. I typically draw with H pencils and shade with B pencils because it's just easier to erase H pencils. When you set up your head, you can think of it several ways. There's a standard oval, or another way is a ball with a jaw. Here's a quick tip. When you're working on something that's round or oval, it's helpful to draw your circle or your oval in both directions. It has something to do with symmetry and right brain and left brain. Now the first thing we need to add is the center line that goes right down the middle of the face. The eye line is halfway down the face, so you'll need to measure halfway down. Halfway between the eye line and the chin is the nose. Halfway in between the nose and the chin is the mouth. Now let's put this to the test with Jeff Bezos' portrait done by Robert McCurdy. By the way, this is an oil painting in the photorealism style, which means it's a painting that looks like a photograph. We've got the headline, we've got the chin line, and we have halfway up the eye line. There's another way to look at these using thirds. First, we need to start with an oval or the ball with a jaw. And then mark the hairline. Now this will also vary, but one third down from the hairline is the brow line. And then the next one third is the nose line. And then the chin. Now note, the ears fall between the brow and the nose. Here's another photorealistic portrait done by McCurdy, this time of Toni Morrison. Now let's see how the one-third measurements line up on Toni Morrison's portrait. First, there's the hairline, and then there's the chin line on the bottom. One-third down from the hairline is the brow line, and one-third down from the brow line is the nose line. Now let's add some eye measurements. Notice how there's one eye space in between the other two eyes so three eyes across. If you would like to use some portraits from our collection to practice your proportions, just go ahead to our website and go under portrait search and type in sculpture. There'll be lots of sculptures for you to look through. Pick something that's straight on, go ahead and print it off and try practicing your proportions. Some of my favorite portraits to work with include this one of Gertrude Stein and this one of John F. Kennedy. This one of Jose Lemon, and this one of Helen Keller. Now remember, these are just standard measurements for the average human head. They won't work for everybody because nobody's the same. So use them as a guideline to question, is it more, is it less, is it bigger, is it smaller? And also remember, the more you practice, the less you'll rely on these measurements. They're really just there to help you when you're stuck. Okay, practice makes perfect. We would love to see what you come up with, so make sure you post your finished products on your social media with the hashtag MyFPG. Okay, we'll see you next time.